Discovery, go for Hubble release. For 20 years, the Hubble telescope has been looking at the universe. It has brought us astounding images of galaxies against the black void. Dr. Ed Weiler is Associate Administrator for Science at NASA. He tells VOA that throughout these years, Hubble has traveled a total of four or five billion miles. It's looked farther back in time than any other telescope has ever looked. It's, uh, the universe is about 13.8 billion years old, and it's gone back to about 600 million years after the Big Bang. Weiler says the farther the Hubble looks into the cosmos, the closer it gets to its origins. That's because the telescope is seeing light that began its journey across the universe billions of years ago. But this time machine is getting old and will be retired in the year 2014. Since Hubble's launch, astronauts have made five visits for repair and upgrades. The last and final one in 2009 was taped in IMAX 3D. The astronauts repaired the telescope while one of them, in the shuttle, filmed the expedition with a 700-pound IMAX camera, which had been loaded into the cargo bay before takeoff. There no butterflies inside. No, no, lizards, big no lizards, no spiders. Filming was not easy. Hubble and the astronauts circled the Earth every 90 minutes, entering either sunrise or sunset every 45 minutes. The rapidly changing light was the crew's biggest challenge, says mission specialist Michael Massimino. He, the rest of the crew and the filmmakers, attended the film premiere in 3D glasses. The sun is the brightest thing you can imagine in space. And when you get into the dark part of the Earth, it is really dark, you know, so, and there's no way to control the light. You, know, you can't turn the light bulb on and off. That's, that's nothing you can do about it. So uh, if you're in, you know, if the lighting is good and it's time to take a shot, you take it. And then there were the repairs, says mission specialist John Gransfeld. Uh, removing tiny screws and big spacesuit gloves, pulling circuit boards, changing things out, putting it all back together, you know, kind of like, you know, watch repair. The viewer sees space and Earth as the astronauts saw them during their spacewalks. This is what heaven must look like. There are no words that we have to describe the actual beauty of that, of that Earth, seeing it from that vantage point. The film also shows in 3D the telescope's images from the deep universe. Filmmaker Tony Myers says this could not have happened without IMAX technology. This is a 3D film, but Hubble doesn't shoot imagery in 3D. We have to make that happen. Astrophysicist Frank Summers says to create 3D images, they had to use scientific data. It really has to start with the science. We've got a whole team of scientists that help provide us the data for how these images and how these models should look. Graham Ferguson, a Canadian filmmaker, invented IMAX technology some 40 years ago, along with his brother-in-law. I think there'll be an IMAX in everybody's living room or every home theater. You'll be able to be in there and you'll be able to visit other planets. Experiencing the Hubble mission in IMAX 3D makes Ferguson's prediction seem plausible. In the meantime, the film is the next best thing. Penelope Pulu, VOA News.